Hey! So I am going to be painting two projects today. One is a bassinet, a wood bassinet that no one would ever use as a bassinet in this day and age. It's antique and I'm going to show you some ideas I have and then I'm also going to be painting a mid-century wood buffet and um, doing like a dry brush technique on top of it. I'll probably be distressing the wood bassinet. Let me show you what um, what these pieces look like. So this is the beautiful wood bassinet and I just couldn't pass it up when I saw it at the thrift store. It's gorgeous. It's got these beautiful carved details. So I think I'm going to paint this white and then distress it. And here is the mid-century wood buffet. This is a beautiful piece. It has these doors on each side and then it also has three drawers in the middle. So I'm going to use my air compressor and hose and the Harbor Freight paint sprayer attachment. And I'm going to spray paint this white with some bare um, primer and paint in one. I've already hand scuffed this with sandpaper. I didn't use my electric sander because I don't want to take off the finish. I just want to scuff it up so that the primer and paint in one will stick to it when I paint it. And then I'm going to do a dry brush technique on top. And this is what the buffet looks like after the first coat paint. So the products that I use for this um, painting job today is I have an air compressor and hose and I have the Porter Cable Jet Stream. This was a gift from my uncle. It has changed my life. If you're on the fence on buying one, buy one now. They're on sale for either 80 or 100 bucks at Home Depot. It has been a game changer for me. And then I also got this um, paint sprayer from Harbor Freight. It's the Central Pneumatic 20 floor ounce high volume low pressure spray gun. And this thing is beautiful. I only did three coats of white paint and it's just gorgeous the way that it came out. And I love using the bare paints because um, their paint and primers and ones work really well for me for both furniture as well as uh, painting houses like interior walls. This is just beautiful. The results are gorgeous. There's very little overspray um, and I just love how this came out. So I'm going to distress this one a little bit and I, I, there is some um, yellowing coming through. But I'm okay with that because I knew that would happen, but I also planned to distress this piece. And it'll be really lovely when it's finished. If I didn't want that yellow to come through, I would have uh, primed this piece probably with one or two coats first before I painted it. And then this buffet is gorgeous. It has three coats of the primer and paint in one. I did both of these pieces in less than an hour. So this piece has some issues, but it's okay. If I had planned on painting this just white, I would have primed it first, but I'm planning on doing a dry brush technique with some gray and tan over the top of the white to give it a really pretty look. So I was okay with some of the wood stain coming through. I just love my new um, tools. The paint sprayer and the air compressor have really changed the way that I work and what I'm able to do, how much I can achieve in such little time. And I painted wearing this. I was wearing this while I painted and I didn't get any paint on me. Um, the paint goes on beautifully in a fine mist 
and um, it took me a couple tries. The first time I painted, I watered down my paint way too much, and there was overspray everywhere, and um, there were lots of drips on the piece that I painted, but this time I mastered my um, all the gauges on the compressor as well as the paint sprayer and I didn't put too much water in my paint so it just went on beautifully it was like this powder mist coat of paint and it's just gorgeous I can't wait to show you guys how these uh, two pieces of furniture look when I'm finished so I heard from at least two different sources that fabric softener will clean your paint brushes I've got this one that's pretty crusty. I'm about ready to throw it away, but I'm going to try this technique to see if it actually works. I got this idea from a gentleman at church, and then I also saw Zeb and Jamie Ray on Jamie Ray Vintage. They did this and it worked for them. So I'm going to let this sit in here overnight. I really have to highly recommend that you watch Jamie Ray Vintage on YouTube. Um, her channel is amazing. I love watching her and her husband Zeb work on different projects. I had the confidence to try the paint sprayer attachment for my pneumatic um, air compressor because he shows so wonderfully in his videos how to use it, um, how to adjust everything so that it sprays correctly. And he gives a lot of information and advice that has been extremely helpful to me and helped me be successful with spraying paint on my furniture. Obviously no one would use this kind of wood cradle bassinet for a baby these days, but I think it makes a lovely little accent table or plant stand magazine holder, whatever you want it to be. I think it would be adorable to put several herbs in here and have an indoor herb garden in front of the window in your kitchen, in your eating kitchen area. And this is what the buffet looks like with a dry brush of the gray paint and I'm about to apply the tan paint. And here is what the buffet looks like with the dry brush of the tan added on. I'm going to let this sit overnight and give myself time to sleep on it. And then I may make adjustments tomorrow. I may add more dry brush of white maybe gray. I may distress it a little with my sander. I haven't decided. Um, I think I really need to sleep on it. So I slept on it and I decided to go back in with a dry brush of white paint. And I really like, so you can see right here it's the white on top and this is how it looked last night when I went to bed. I really like how this is coming out. It's very pretty. I might do some distressing. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. The fabric softener is definitely working. I put these two crusty brushes in it last night and let them soak in this fabric softener overnight. And all of the paint has come out. Like, they're actually soft and flexible now and they're not dry and crusty and stiff. I'm amazed. Like, this totally works. All I did was put fabric softener in here and the brushes. I didn't dilute it or anything. And now my brushes are, like, brand new and I can use them again without buying new ones. This is the finished product after I did the last dry brush of white paint. I really like how it turned out. It's really pretty. So yeah, I don't think I need to distress this at all. I think it's ready for delivery.